Hi, this is a unpacking of the SFU Next Pants Mark II of Helicon Tex. To save time, I've already opened the outer cover of the parcel. And so these are the trousers. They come in the standard Helicon Tex packet. It has got the website on the corner and on the label is the information. Color is coyote and SFU next pants size 34 by 32. That is large regular. It also says it is poly cotton and stretch ripstop. So there are two options generally which are available in the UTP design of Helicon takes. One is a canvas that is a cotton canvas and the other is the ripstop poly cotton. I like the poly cotton ripstop more because the cloth is lighter and breathes slightly more. Also it seems to fit better because the cloth probably is thinner so it sits better but mostly because it breathes more. The packaging also has a lot of languages written on it including Japanese and Chinese, Russian and it says do not wear the packet on your head because you are likely to choke. So that is something useful. So these are the trousers. On first inspection, the cloth looks good. Uh, I am half aware that these trousers, although they are designed by Helicon Tex, these are made in China, most likely because the last trousers were also made in China. Yes. So on the inside, it does say crafted in China. It does say crafted in China. It says Helicon Tex. SFU next and then sizing and then crafted in China. So these are crafted in China and designed in Poland but made in China to save probably cost but these aren't cheap. They are quite expensive. So the quality of the cloth is good. It's a ripstop pattern. Ripstop pattern as generally people would already be aware is a checkered weave in the cloth which allows the tearing to be stopped inside that check itself. So that is the usefulness of the checkered pattern and generally you will find this on all sorts of tactical clothing these days. There is also a stretch on the cloth but it's very less. Okay so there is a stretch. Not much, but there is a stretch in the cloth, which is always good for comfort. The color is quality brown. So here the stitching is actually exposed. And unlike the other trousers here, I can find that the quality of stretching is not that good. So this is a Velcro on the knees for putting the knee pads inside on the knee section. But on the velcro, the quality of stitching isn't good. For the price, I think they should have given much, much better stitching. In the other tactical pants, which are in the camo design, the stitching is hidden. But here, because of the quality pattern, the stitching can be seen properly. So here, the stitching isn't very good, at least on the knees. In the other one also, not very good, but kind of okay, better than the other knee and here the darts on the knees also the stitching seems to be opening up already so I'll have to do something about this so apart from that the rest of the stitching seems to be fine the trousers starting from top so these are the loops for the belt probably an inch and a half at best or an inch and a quarter at best. So 
that is the kind of belt that can be worn with this on the sides are these velcros for tightening or loosening the trousers slightly and on the other end also so both ends you can tighten the velcro if the trouser is loose and if it is tight then nothing can be done the UTPs come with elastic at the behind but these don't come with elastic but there is some amount of stretch so it is kind of okay but that stretch is very minimal it's not even a centimeter so you have to be correct with your sizing when you buy these coming to the front it has a button closure and again buttons for the zip area the buttons also have branding on them the pockets are like jeans pockets they ideally should have been the ideally should have been cut slightly more below to allow for easily putting the hands inside in emergency situations these are more like jeans pockets very close and the depth also is not much in the front is this additional pocket this has about 3 to 4 inches of depth here and similarly on the other side there is symmetry so two front pockets and these two slit pockets up front on both sides and on these sides are the cargo pockets now these cargo pockets are nice because they are absolutely huge and have a lot of space so the design is such that up front they are stitched so the cargo pockets up front up front are stitched and on the rear is the velcro so you can open it like this and they are quite deep the entire hand goes inside and there is blousing also so lot of space here but there is no segregation inside the pocket there are no additional sleeves for you to keep things in place it's just one single pocket on one side on the behind of the pocket is the helicon tech logo again little amount of branding and similarly on the other side is another cargo pocket so there is symmetry here also there is no segregation it's one single pocket but it's large useful and it blouses and on the rear also there are these pleats for blousing so enough space inside nothing wrong there on the rear there are these two slit pockets no velcro is here the depth is kind of okay but not much similarly on the other side also the depth is okay but not much the rear has this additional piece of cloth this is the additional piece of cloth because this is a high abrasion area so they given some additional cloth here and similarly on the knees they have given these tucks these four tucks on the knees 1 2 3 and 4 so because of this darting here there is additional cloth on the knees so when you take a knee or you bend your knee there is some additional cloth to accommodate your knee and the pant will not be shifting up for loss of or for want of less cloth again this has space for knee pads at the base they are given these strings if you want to tighten the base of the trousers so overall good trousers do i like them yes i do like them i did not have the cavity color earlier so this will be good for civilian use much better than normal cargo pants which are out there in the market i'll be trying these out thank you